right, so today, despite the like freezing cold and the fact that like vlogging is dangerous, like have you seen Matt's last video? I'm gonna be making this for you guys because like I'm so sweet. And yeah, so you're gonna be seeing me um, jumping around on jumps that were really scary for me like five years ago. And we'll see if um, I've improved at all. <laughs> Is that how I'm supposed to act in vlogs? There was a time when filming your parkour stuff was really frowned upon. So I don't have footage of this, but this cat leap used to be really scary for me. It was like the first cat leap I ever did. scary because my scarf went in my eyes and I didn't see anything but it's totally easier than it used to be <laughs> also I'm not wearing like huge red underwear I'm just going to swim later so this is <laughs> my swimsuit up next we have the first consecutive running jumps that I did and back then I was really heavy and didn't really know how to run so hopefully this changed a little and it'll be less awkward the hardest part is figuring out how to film this alone. <laughs> I got it. Don't try to be all arrogant with people who kick you off their roofs now. super happy that I got that. It took a little bit, but I'm always really scared of cat leaps. I have a hard time gauging them, but I did it. I recommend trying this challenge of going back to your old jumps because it's really fun. And yeah, I'm really happy I did this challenge. I was kind of nervous because I hadn't done parkour in one month, but I improved and I am a better parkour person now and I'm happy about that. So, celebration bubble tea for me and end of video for you. Blah, 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 blah. Such a fake voice, like what are you doing? Bye guys, oh my god. <laughs>